Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 40 of this series. In this session, we'll see how to create themes and the benefits of the themes and how to use these themes. So theme is nothing but uh, setting up the uh, formatting properties that can be applied to an entire ClickView document or else uh, um, part of ClickView uh, layout as well. So let's quickly jump into the ClickView and then we'll see what is the major use and how we can create. So after creating the data model, so visualization is like bringing up the data into a live mode which will be obviously helping the business to take the decisions so in the process of uh, creating charts we will be uh, doing some kind of formattings which includes the borders layouts captions uh, and um, font like this so you could create uh, a global level theme which could be applied to the sheet or for the document or for individual objects so that you never have to visit each and uh, in every individual objects in click view uh, which would result in taking a lot of time so you could save significant amount of time if you create a theme before moving on for the uh, formatting the front end uh, charts or else visualizations okay so for this you first you need to create a click view document so i'll be creating it i'm going to name this as uh, click view theme source this is a step one and then they must be having some data inside the application so that's why i'm going to the script i'm going and i'll be inserting test script from the insert then reload it click on ok so for my convenience here i'm going to use only two or three of the uh, sheet objects so uh, so that the, those sheet objects properties will be embedded inside a click view theme if you are using uh, more than three objects or whatsoever the objects are existed in click view and you want to use all of them and you want to create a theme for all of the individual objects you can go and you can do it okay so first of all now my intention is i'll just change the uh, sheet properties first so i'll put custom tab color so the tab color would be teal and then font color i'll change this to white for black and apply this looks this and then there must be a default sheet color which in turn if your organization is having the default color you put it or else you can leave it up to you and in my case i'm giving this color as the sheet color okay then now so in uh, assume like in my entire application i'm going to use charts list box and, uh, and 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 a container okay so first i'll create a list box okay and then i'll be creating a simple chart so take all files dimension and This is my chart and then so take a text object so I'll, I'll be creating a theme for the text object as well so use these three only so first so whatever the objects you are going to use inside your application give them the specific colors and properties or the formatting properties so in my case so I'll be using the Windows checkbox for the selection style override. So remember the property here, that's the property is selection style override. Okay, and then apply. And the alignment would be always left. So I'm applying it. And I'm not going to touch the number and the font, yes. So my organization prefers Arial and 10 is the default size no bold nothing it's simple regular okay then if you go for the layout there we use 
the 12, 12 and 14 size scroll bars. So in my case, I'll go with the 12. Okay. And the scroll bar buttons and the scroll bar must be of a color this one. And apply it. Okay. Then in the caption, the background color, if it is an active one, so the first one is an inactive. Yes, the inactive caption should be uh, like this only. Or else, let's change this. So, put red as the color for the inactive caption. Even though it's not a suitable color in terms of viewing. Just selecting for the uh, exa as an example. So this color I'm, I'm using for the active caption, and I'll choose text color as white. Apply. See. Now this is with the customized property. Okay. So this is this is active. That's why it's showing in so. If it gets inactive and you can see the change in colors okay let's apply the same kind of properties here as well so in our case in this case I'm going to change the presentation a little bit if required but in my guess I don't want the anymore I'll go access there I'll change this primary dimension to the this one I means so slant mode okay so now we can see that so this is axis and the axis what we change dimension axis and colors you may put multicolor that's your wish so select appropriate ones and if you prefer persistent colors and use that and font as usual 10 regular arial and in layout as usual i'm going to use the 12 and the caption would be of same because we have to follow the uh, the equality I mean uh, the similarity or uniformity in the design across so here we have uh, the layout we have this scroll bar button so what I'm doing is just observe it so I'm right clicking on this and then copying it means it will copy all the colors and the format even though it's even if the gradient uh, feature is enabled it took that as well so here i'm going to paste right click paste all you can paste base color second color or the space gradient. you can do anything just in my case it just paste all and then apply okay and here in the text object what i'm going to do is we will change in the background color default background color so we prefer the teal color as a background and then our font is going to be Arial regular 10 and then the font color which we prefer on text objects is white color then apply okay so this is what the time it took to change or to apply changes to the individual objects in one sheet assume if you are having a larger application and n number of developers are going to I mean more number of developers are going to uh, work on those and uh, definitely it is going to take large amount of time on formatting okay so and uh, be familiar with the uh, the above toolbar which uh, uh, will help developers to align the objects in a proper way as well okay so, so this is the time which it is taking to uh, to format individual objects now what i'm saying is so we there are two ways to create the themes so one is through uh, theme wizard and another is through the individual objects so let's first do it through wizard so once you have created all the uh, base parameters that are to be uh, uh, there in your theme and go to the tools Click on theme maker wizard, which will uh, opens a window which uh, it has two options new theme and modify existing theme. If you have uh, if you already have a theme in your um, uh, themes folder uh, which resides inside a click track, inside app data, inside uh, user 
folder okay so here we are not going to use any of the existing theme so we are going to create a new theme so let's keep this as none and then click on next and give it a name okay so here i'm going to give a name so click geek the name and see here the save type is dot qvt so click view theme even though the extension is different the data stored inside this file is in the form of xml okay so let's save and then here you can see the source source here means so it is of individual entities here it might be a sheet it might be an object inside the sheet as well okay so you can uh, make this property grouping as well so here first of all we're going to consider the sheet okay and then select next so here what we're going to do is sheet background sheet tab yes and then next so how you're going to apply it so what i say is i'll apply for this document only okay if you're preparing theme for your organization set this as default for the new document so that it will be set in the user preferences so that it will work across all the um, applications that are that you are going to develop in your machine only for that user okay users may import themes as well right so you could finish it means that we have added uh, the sheet uh, uh, to the team okay let's save now if i try to create a new sheet then see what will happen so it will add the sheet tabs with the properties which we have uh, applied in the theme uh, which has the tab color and font font color and the sheet background okay this is how it works and we did only for the sheet let's add uh, the individual objects which are uh, sheet objects you can do it from here itself the maker and then we are going to modify it so because we are going to add this list box to the theme and then create next so select so which which is that list box okay and you can decide caption border yes i want and then press next so here what we need here here list box selection style override because to get this window style checkboxes and select it access font x color gaze settings and if you want gaze settings you can prefer it because many many charts are only possible with list boxes okay and then next maybe what we have here minimize shrink show caption or more size special icons next next and finish it off okay so now we have added like that there is other way around to add um, an object properties to a theme that is right click on a particular object go to properties then you can find layout in the layout there is the option theme maker apply theme so go to theme maker and then it will start the wizard automatically click on next and by default it will select the chart and you can put I mean you can select the properties group and then click on next so there you can see access thickness text orientation everything align pivoting pop-up labels split access access font access color everything and then you can say background allow copy clone special so every property whatsoever is available here you can use them in the themes and then next finish it okay and then same with this as well right click properties go to layout and click on theme maker then you'll get the existing theme if you have more than one theme and you can click on the drop down and select the appropriate one then next there is no caption border out here we are not going to use captions in the uh, text objects and select next finish okay it means that if let's create a new sheet and here i'm going to try if i try to 
create a text object let's see it will create with the same color I mean the background color which we set in the theme and then let's type something hi this is a click view theme so the white color font and 10 is the size Arial. okay let's try with the list box so alpha let's create a uh, dimension 2 as well now you can see right if you activate then so this is how you can use theme to save a lot of time in formatting and this is the feature mostly ignored by most of the developers okay and how to set this one at document level now I have created this and that's why I'm saying this is bonded to this one let's create a new application and create a new application let's save it now save it as a test a QV theme now as usual we need some data okay so control E and I'll be inserting the test script insert test script press OK reload it so that we'll get some data out here why we are not getting data yes we got it and then save it now go to the document properties there you can find layout in there you can find the theme maker out here or else in the presentation you have something out here right so if you go to the layout it will only select the sheet and apply that but the best one is go to the presentations tab and in there you can find default theme select the theme press ok okay let's see the magic if you try to create a list box then it will create the same way what you have made in your theme right so I'll, this is for the document level so how to do the same for the um, user level or for the organization level so if you have theme available in so and so location in each and every uh, mission then go to settings there you can find user preferences there in the design you can find the default theme out here once if you click on the drop down you can see this so it will set means so whatever the application you are going to develop in future for your uh, requirement for your organization then it will be applied uh, this theme the particular theme for that particular uh, document and yes this theme properties can be overridden as well so if you want to customize it you can customize it all right it's not going to be a specific one okay so that's that's how it will work so that's all about the creation and uses of ClickView themes. And let's see how the ClickView uh, theme file looks like. So there must be an app data. And then in my case it's roaming there we have a click tick the click view and themes we have click view I mean click geek.qvt as a theme file if you open this with any of the editors then you can see the XML version so this is an XML file which stores the uh, properties in a proper structure which is readable by uh, which is readable to the click view okay so this is how you can use a click view themes to save a lot of time thanks for watching the video please subscribe